It's darkest before the dawn. When I wrote my banjo book in 1948, I think I started it off wrong. I started people playing chords. This should have come later. I should have started people on single strings. That's where the banjo really sparkles best. It's a rhythm instrument. The chords can come later. I'm in a more convenient key to sing in. And I've got the fifth string on the sixth note of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, quite often, I'll simply strum along. I'll pluck up on the downbeat, brush down across the strings with the back of my fingernails on the offbeat, and then the thumb comes in, kicking off at the end. Bump, diddy, bump, diddy, bump. I don't think the banjo actually sounds as good this way, but it's an easy way to pick it or strum it. I called it the, ba the basic strum, or a basic strum, but I think I was wrong. It's just one more strum. It's no more basic than frailing is, or double thumbing, or any other name you put to. I misnamed it, or named it whatever you want to call it, 43 years ago, as a basic strum. Nice thing, you can do it real fast and get away with it. Get tired out either. I, use, I don't know if other people use this method of teaching or not, but I said get used to picking up on one of the middle strings, second or third or fourth string. But after you pick up on it, brush down across the rest. And then, I think in the second chapter of the book, I said learn to Get that thumb string. I transcribed this off a commercial record, 12 incher, 78 RPM, I think Victor. A man named B.F. Shelton in the 1920s, I believe, recorded it. Wake up, wake up, darling, Corey. He did about three times as fast. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And with slightly different rhythms, they call it rumba or salsa or a million other names, samba. Uh, but it means you get syncopating in one way or another. I guess I do it more often than not in the C tuning. I made that little riff up, but I've done it for 40 or 50 years now. strumming I do on the banjo, if there's something a lot of guitar players, I guess, do. Arpeggios, they call it in Italian. Woody used to do it more the, in the opposite direction. I'm liable to just keep on going with my thumb. Mm -hmm. 
You got to walk that lonesome valley. You got to walk it by yourself. Nobody here can walk it for you. You got to walk it by yourself. Now, even if you never heard it before, this song would really sound a lot better if you'd sing it with me. Just repeat each line after me. Try it. Oh, you got to walk.